Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Halloween haul. This will be the first Halloween haul of 2022. I know a lot of you really love the Halloween hauls so I do hope you enjoy this. Do subscribe if you do and I will get straight into the video. So I've got four things to show you today. I've been trying to be my best behavior <laughs> with the Halloween stuff. Um, if you're like in America or like other countries, PK Max is really the only place in the UK that does like really good quality Halloween decor. Um, TK Maxx and HomeSense, they're like the same brand or like sister brands or something like that. And I think that's the same as TJ Maxx and maybe Home Goods. They're all like very similar, all in the same family. So, um, and if you are in the UK, then TK Maxx is the best place to get your Halloween stuff if you've been wondering where to look. So, TK Maxx and HomeSense always get their stuff out super early. I got some of this, I mean, we're at the end of July now, and I think I got some of this at the very beginning of July. So, definitely go look now don't wait till like september october because most of their stuff is gone especially by october so yeah don't wait around <laughs> yeah as i said i've got four things to show you i'm trying not to spend too much on decor like ornaments this year <laughs> So I'll start with the things that I got first. So I went to my local TK Maxx and I got two things kind of kitchen related. Um, the first one is this and I think this bowl is super like cute, super spooky. I saw this bowl in like the, there's like a few Halloween groups on Facebook. There's like UK Halloween Watch, Halloween UK and then there's like specific TK Maxx groups as well so I am in all of those so people post what they've been finding and stuff like that and I saw this and this was one of the things I was really after this is a little kind of cereal bowl so that's the print so it's got like witch hats bats cobwebs skulls ghosts it does have some spiders but they don't look that realistic so I can get over that <laughs> And yes, it's just inside and all the way around. I just loved how it was black and white. Matches my look today. Um, I absolutely love like a black and white theme. So I just thought this was really cute. It was only £3.99 as well. So definitely a good bargain. And um, they also do this in like a bigger one as well for I think £7.99. Um, it's more like a maybe like a serving bowl and also if you do like spiders they do ones exactly like this and they've got cobwebs all around here and originally I was like wow that looks really pretty and then I looked inside and it's literally a bowl of spiders so if you like spiders they have that but if you don't then I would go for this one. <laughs> this is by the brand Coco and Lola, if that helps anyone find this. But yeah, I was really pleased with this. Um, as I said, it was one of the main things I wanted to find. <laughs> so yeah, this is the first thing. And in the same trip, I picked up these. So if you've watched my announcement video, I think I did it in like my birthday haul. Um, but I did announce that I got engaged in January. Um, and... My fiance is actually American. <laughs> so we've started the whole process of like the fiance visa and me um, going over there and all of that. So because I will be probably moving out next year, I thought I could finally buy some like adult kitchen stuff. <laughs> so I did see these. I wasn't actually looking for like kitchen things like oven gloves and that i don't mind bowls too much because i can use them now but while i'm living at home my parents don't really want a ghost oven club <laughs> um but again i saw these in the group and i just thought they were really cute yellow is not usually my color but i absolutely loved like the ghosts and the kind of graveyard scene on it so it is like yellow it's it's more like a mustard yellow it's showing up a bit brighter on camera but it's got these really cute ghosts and then like tombstones that say R.I.P. with crosses and ravens and trees and gates. All of the kind of graveyard things. And that print just repeats like all over. It's got little gravestones, more ghosts. Really cute. And it is like a black and white print on yellow. So not usually my colour scheme. But I did think it was really, really cute. I think my lighting keeps going funny because the things I'm holding up are quite bright. So sorry about that. But yeah, it just goes all over them and they are the ones that are like joint together. These were 5 dollars It does say their RRP is 13 dollars 
they are definitely like a really nice quality so i will be saving these for when i move out <laughs> to add some ghosts to the kitchen so yeah i did get these as well so so far useful things and then i actually went to the reading home scents and i did come back with a big bag <laughs> um i usually do like one or two trips to the reading home scents each year because they have like a huge selection and the tk max slash home scents near me is a bit smaller so i find the reading one has like a lot of different things that my local one doesn't have so i got two things from reading i was quite good because there was loads i really liked but as i said trying to limit myself considering i'll have to like ship everything over to america <laughs> and especially with like storage like i already have so many decorations in my room so i i bought one decoration and i was actually gonna put a ban on ornaments but i saw him and i was looking at him last year i never saw him in store but i saw um again the photos on the facebook group they're probably responsible for all my purchases <laughs> but i just thought he was really like creepy but kind of cute at the same time so he does actually have like a matching girl so i would like to find her because she's like looking over at him and he's looking over at her and they just i i think i like the whole black and white stripes thing as you can tell i like the stripes so he's got like a little top hat with a ribbon he's kind of like a he's i mean he's kind of like a skeleton um he's got kind of skeleton hands but his I don't know he looks a bit more his face is a little bit round for like a skull so I'm not really sure he's kind of like skeleton esque <laughs> so that's what his face looks like he's got like creepy eyes and then he's kind of like in a suit with a coat and his trousers are black and white he's got black shoes and he's just on like this little stand so this one was 12.99 i don't feel like that's too crazy he is quite a he's like bigger than i thought he would be but he's not like crazy big probably about like the size of my head a little bit bigger he's not too heavy he does definitely have some weight to him so i don't know i just thought he was kind of like creepy cute and i liked the whole black and white look but as i said he does have like a matching girl so i'll put a photo on the screen i'd quite like to get them both as a couple because i feel like they'd be quite cute a few years ago actually i got these two from tk maxx and these are definitely some of my favorite things i found from tk maxx and again like he's kind of like in a suit with a hat and she's in like a kind of witchy looking dress and they just go together so well like you had to buy them separately but they were sat together on the shelf and i just thought they were really cute so this kind of reminded me of that and again like i really like the whole black and white aesthetic so yeah i did pick him up um hopefully i can find the girl version to match and the last thing is a gigantic blanket <laughs> again i was trying not to buy too many blankets um because i do have a lot of stuff if you can't tell from my chaotic background <laughs> um but I saw originally a skull blanket in my local TK Maxx and I really liked it and it was insanely soft. That's the thing with the TK Maxx blankets, like they are incredibly soft and you just like, you touch it and you can, you get this whole like vision of you like sitting inside on like a stormy night with like your coffee, watching a film, like you get the whole vision then you're like, I need it. <laughs> happens every time so i did really like that one it was kind of like plain black with some skulls on it quite simplistic but i thought Kirsty, you don't need another blanket so i did end up leaving it um and i ended up getting a different one from reading so this was the blanket so again it's kind of similar but i really liked the frames and i gave it a victorian vibe i just thought it looked like really like goth decor like less kind of halloweeny and more kind of victorian goth so this is the pattern of it i just absolutely love it and on the back it's got like the same it's actually a bit more fluffy on the back but it's so insanely soft like when you hug it it's just so comforting <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's a really nice blanket it is by the brand well dressed home it says oversized decorative throw i got a blanket from them last year or the year before and it's gray and it's got pumpkins on it and it's one of my favorite blankets and it's by the same brand i feel like this brand in particular are so soft so this is what the label looks like so anything by this brand like is going to be super soft and i think it was 12.99 yeah 12.99 for this one as you can see so definitely not a bad price considering how like huge this blanket is how like nice of a print and the fact that it is like so warm and snuggly i just absolutely love it um and you could definitely put this like on your sofa or if you have like a plain sofa use it as a throw or something so yeah i was really really pleased with this again you can see i'm going for like a black and white theme this year <laughs> apart from the random yellow yeah i'm really pleased with everything i the, my favorite thing is probably the bowl and the blanket I, i'm kind of going for more like useful things this year and as i said try not to get too much just because of the moving situation next year so yeah i'm trying not to go too overboard but yeah i'm really excited i could still do a halloween haul and i absolutely love making halloween hauls and that was the reason why i started my channel because i just love halloween too much so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was and also what you've been finding from tk maxx and home sense and let me know if any other shops are bringing out their halloween stuff i know hobbycraft have started and next they have really cute ceramic ghosts i was really tempted but limiting the decorations <laughs> But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Do like and subscribe if you did. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.